guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a makeup video for the first time in what feels like forever I finally have a day off that I can film getting ready I'm going to make the effort of doing something proper on my face just for you guys I'm totally just winging this look so we'll see what happens but I hope you guys enjoy the video lately I've been trying to use up some of my Becca opal skin what is this called shimmering skin perfecter in opal because this is slightly more of a darker shade and I'm very fair what this does to my skin underneath my foundation is actually warm up my skin so it looks quite um, dewy and like hydrated um, and it looks a bit more like tan even when I put like a fair foundation over the top so I've actually been using that like this because I do like the effect that this gives my skin it's very like glowy looking but I can't wear this by itself as an illuminator because it's a bit too dark for my skin. Just using a dual fiber synthetic brush. You see it's quite warm on my skin. But what I do is put this on as like a glowy illuminator underneath my foundation. So you kind of look like a crazy person if you were to wear that by itself. But because we're putting foundation over the top, essentially it will just warm up the skin and make me super shiny as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade number one. This is a great long wearing foundation and I want my makeup to last me throughout the whole day. So I'm going to put one to two pumps of this in my hand. And then I'm going to add my Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops. This is the Lemongrass Radiant version. Um, so these are very dewy on the skin. But I also like mixing this with my Makeup Forever Skin Booster, which is a new product they've come out with. And it's gorgeous with any full coverage foundation, making it look more hydrating on the skin so it doesn't dry you out because I have very dry skin. So I'm just gonna pop a couple of drops of that in there. So this thins out the foundation very slightly, but for me, it makes it look more hydrating on my skin so I can wear it. So it looks much nicer on my dry areas. So it turns it more into like a liquid instead of being quite thick. Just using my normal beauty blender, I'm going to pounce this all over my skin. Lately, I've been really into cream contouring again, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Fair Contour Kit. This is disgusting now because I've been using it like crazy and not cleaning it very well, but it's mine so I don't care. I'm going to use a little bit of the fairer two tones here um, to give a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes on the high points of my face and then I like to mix these two colors here for my contour I rarely use the really dark one just because it doesn't look right on my skin yeah I use the same beauty blender and mix the two lighter tones together and just pop that on my cheeks on my nose on my chin basically any high point on my face and then taking a mix of the two darker, I like to load up my beauty blender, kind of squeeze it so it's a little bit more like flat that way. And I just lightly go underneath my cheekbones, along my hairline here, and under my jaw slightly, and then build them up and blend them out. And then whatever's left over on my beauty blender, I'm gonna squish it even smaller and just put that down the sides of my nose very slightly. I don't like it to be too noticeable. I just find it gives just a slight shadow to the sides of my nose to make it a bit more defined, really in photos. And now I'm gonna pop some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Light. This is a really, really creamy full coverage concealer. I've been having a lot of issues lately with my concealer creasing underneath my eyes. Um, I can't work out a way to make it not crease. I've tried a million and one techniques lately. Different products, different powders, baking, not baking, not setting it, setting it, like there's so many different things I've tried. So I'm going to my go-to kind of option, which is the Cosmetics by my under eye and baking it with the RCMA powder. But even then I still kind of get it. So I don't know, maybe my eyes are just annoying. Blend that out with a different beauty blender. And now I'm just going to take my RCMA No Colour Powder and bake with that. So I'm going to wet my sponge with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Massage that in a bit so it's not too um, wet. <laughs> and then put that into the powder. Uh, bacon. 
I also put this on my file lines and in between my brows, just there. Also cleaning up my contour a bit. And while that's setting, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using my tried and true Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe, which is a really nice shade for the color that I'm growing out my roots to be right now. Mine has been drying out slightly because I've had it for a while, so I've been using um, mixing Ingot Duraline in with it to kind of re-moisten it, and that's been helping a lot. But you could also use any kind of normal oil and I'm just going to be feathering this through my brows. And now I'm just going to dust away any of that powder that is still left over underneath my eyes. Otherwise I find they dry out a bit too much. For my eye base I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just a tiny bit of this over my eyelid. And the first colour I'm going to use is from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette, China White. Take a bit of that and go along my crease just a bit higher, just to set that area of my eye. Then I'm going to take the new Androgyny Palette and use my favourite colour, which is Military, and pop that in my crease. Lots of my friends know that my favourite colour for me to wear, or anyone to wear, is like khaki green. I just think it's such a pretty color. And I think I like to wear this color on my eyes because it goes with the hazel tones of my eyes because it brings out those kind of greeny browns. I just think it's a really pretty shade to wear. I've heard so many people with mixed reviews about this palette, but like I love it. So I think once again, makeup is such a subjective thing, like something that works for me doesn't work for someone else and that's totally fine, but I love both these palettes, the, both the Jeffree Star palettes, I really like, so that's just my personal opinion. See how that colour is just so, I don't know, kind of natural, even though it's green, because it's that khaki green, it's got that kind of brownish tone to it as well. Um, I just think it blends out beautifully. I just, I love it. That has been my kind of go-to colour to wear for a few weeks now. So I've been using this palette a lot just for that colour. Next, I'm taking the Ariel Sephora palette. This is the Story Look palette. So, so beautiful. Just every time I use this, I just, I love it so much. This was such a good purchase. Um, and I'm going to take the colour Jetsam, which is this gorgeous like deep bluish green it's just really cool it's very dark so I'm gonna pop this in my crease with a little bit of a smaller brush I want to make this a little bit deeper of a look Oof, I love it also going to take that same jetsam color and put it underneath my eyes just on the outer half so I'm just connecting that underneath of my eye to the little wing kind of shape that I've kind of created in this outer corner just to extend my eye slightly. Make it look a little bit bigger and like winged out. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape, a little flat shader brush. Then I'm gonna cut out the front half of my eyelid and get rid of any shadow that has gone onto the lid. Shape Tape is great for this because it is full pigment. I only do like half of my eye at the three colors and kind of blend in the outside half. And then to just blend the concealer in with that darker shadow just using a clean brush now what i'm gonna do is take this tiny little sigma blending e36 brush which is really really precise and i'm going to blend a little bit of poison in my crease i just want to make that line really defined between the concealer and my other colors and for my lid, I'm using Sugar Pills Lumi Pigment, which is this insane, like, whitish clear pigment with aqua kind of teal. I don't know, amazing color. And pop that right on top of that concealer. Look how pretty that is. It's so sparkly. For underneath my eye, I'm going to take a little bit more of that poison shade and blend it into the center. And for my waterline, I'm going to take some of this Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Colour Eye Definer in the shade 231 
Pine. This is a really old pencil. I've had this since I was like in high school. But it's just a really nice like khaki color. And I, like I said, I love wearing khaki on my eyes, so. And then to highlight my inner corner even more, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. And use a bit of Lucky Clover because I feel like I want a little bit more green into this look. Put a little bit of that in my inner corner. We're going for all types of green shades today. So it's slightly more of like a green shade rather than that like tealy aqua shade that the Lumi pigment is. It's more like green green. Now, let's do some eyeliner. My current favorite eyeliner is still the Sailor Moon eyeliner that has the cute little like lid on it. Um, but the actual eyeliner is so good, I don't know why. It just has such a fine little brush on it. And it's so super, super liquidy as well, which is exactly what I love. I just find it so easy to use. Like, perfectly straight line, no bumps, no nothing. Eyeliner done, and now I'm going to use my favourite mascara at the moment. It's the Model Co Lash Extend. This is like $12. It's so cheap. And you just buy it from like Woolies, like the grocery store. And it's so good. I can't believe how much I love it. It really does make my lashes so much longer, like appearing. It separates them. It doesn't go clumpy. It just does such a nice job at separating and lengthening your lashes. I even got my sister to try this one and she loves it too because it really like extends your lashes. It's ex totally lives up to its name, which is very like great for a drugstore mascara. Now the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to adding a little bit more contour to my face. Just I want a little bit extra definition, so I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in light and just go on my contour a little bit more. Because cream contouring I find gives you quite um, a natural finish when you blend it out with a beauty blender, so this just redefines those areas, makes them a bit more crisp looking. What am I going to do for blush? Um, for blush, I'm going to use the Too Faced Funfetti blush. This is just a really pretty, kind of peachy pink shade, but you need the tiniest amount of these blushes, they're so pigmented. Oh, this is one of the Unicorn brushes, by the way. Isn't it cool? I got it from Unicorn Lashes UK. Such a pretty colour. My current go-to favourite highlighter is the Makeup Forever Starlit Powder in number 13. It's a gorgeous just white gold kind of colour, champagne-y tone. It's insane. Obviously it's meant for your eyes, it's an eyeshadow, but it's a pigment so you can use it anywhere. And it's the best highlighter I've been using lately. Oh, so pretty. It's just such a nice colour. Like, look at that. Super, super pigmented as well, so I have to be quite light-handed with it. Um, and then build it up when I need to. Also, this unicorn brush that's a fan brush is a little bit skinnier than the fan brushes I was using before. So it's really nice for actually going down like the center of your nose. <sighs> and what am I going to do with my lips? And for my lips, I'm going to use the Coco Collection by Kylie. Oof. By Kylie, this is Clo Money. Just because I really like kind of green and orangey looks together. Like greeny shades and orange, I think they just complement each other really nicely. I haven't worn this shade very much. And for the final step of this makeup, I'm actually gonna draw on some fake freckles, just because I feel like I need something in this uh, on my cheeks a little bit more. And I've been practicing trying to draw on fake freckles, so we're gonna do that today. I have this ColourPop um, brow pencil. I think the shade is Dope Taupe. If I remember correctly, the um, the packaging is kind of rubbed off, which I find that happens a lot with ColourPop um, pencils. The like the names and stuff rub off really easily, but this is a really good size for freckles because it's just that little retractable pencil. So I can kind of see my freckles through my makeup. So I kind of follow them as a guide first, and then add a few more where I need to. So. I don't know if you'll be able to see this with all the light that I have on my face. So I mark out the kind of bigger ones. Then I just take a tiny, tiny little art brush. This is a, I think this is a Napoleon brush. It's a fine liner brush. Um, 
and blend out those little dots or draw some more on. So I'll just like take it with the end of the pencil and add a bit more colour to anything. And this just makes them look a bit softer as well. And you can just tap them so they kind of blend in with the rest of your face. So it looks like it's part of your foundation, like it's underneath your foundation. I don't know, I just think it gives like a little extra cute little add on to your makeup, I don't know. Now I'm just gonna set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm done. So that is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't really been posting a lot lately. I just have not had time to edit a video and it kind of sucks because I really love doing this. It just makes me feel really happy because I can kind of let out some creativity into the world. So I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. Um, I am trying really hard to get back into it. You might just have to see a few more like lifestyle videos from me because that's the kind of stuff that I do on like a regular basis. Whereas when I get ready for work in the morning and do my makeup, it's very early in the morning and there is like no light whatsoever. So it doesn't look as great, which is a bit sad, um, but I am trying. So if you liked this video or this look, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I hope you all are having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.